So let's look and see whether H2S is a polar or nonpolar molecule. Looking at just the Lewis structure, it does appear to be symmetrical, but we really need to think about our valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, how the lone pair electrons and how those hydrogens are going to spread out around that central sulfur. So let's take a look at the actual molecular geometry for H2S. So here the sulfur is yellow and the hydrogens are white. And on top, you can see those two pairs of electrons. So we can see that the lone pair electrons are at the top of the molecule and they've really pushed those hydrogens down to the bottom. So now we can look at this molecule and start thinking about, is there a positive or negative side? So here, the blue, that's a little bit negative and the red is positive. So we have two poles. We have a negative and a positive pole. If we have two poles, that means we have a polar molecule. So H2S is a polar molecule. So based on the molecular geometry that we saw, it may be better to draw our H2S Lewis structure like this. So this is Dr. B with the polarity for H2S, and thanks for watching.